Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat, where you join me at Extreme Robots in Colchester. Behind me is the arena, and several robots going into the arena, so let's just watch a fight to start off with, shall we? Hopefully we'll be able to see some from Jamie because from this point of view, we're part of the is an event that's held up and down the country in several different locations across the year. This event was held at the uh, Colchester Leisure World uh, over the 7th and 8th of September 2019. Though I have attended an Extreme Robots event before last year, again in Colchester, this was my first year attending as a robot. Sweet music. <laughs> features robots from uh, Robot Wars and also contains robots from uh, after Robot Wars was cancelled both times really. Um, our robot Bullfrog, uh, who we managed to get into the arena this weekend, was a robot that came about after the first cancellation of Robot Wars, whereas some others like Iron or 8 uh, came about afterwards, or in fact the robot you've just seen fighting Magnetar in that last clip uh, called Smasher. Uh, is another one who has appeared literally just this year. Roboteers, Team Shock and Team Eruption, are you ready? They're ready! Robot fans, are you ready? Count me down, here we go! Three, two, one! So both teams trying to get that last place in our team and battle final here. After shot strike. Okay, it's 
Now, as I'd already mentioned, we uh, managed to get Bullfrog into the arena, but it was no mean feat. We arrived at the event without any ESCs, so no computer for the robot. We didn't have half the wiring we needed. We didn't have working batteries, as it turned out. The batteries we had, um, one of the packs was probably inappropriate to use, and the other one had been pierced at some point and did not work. One of the cells had died, so that one was out of commission. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank every single person who helped us get Bullfrog into the arena. We couldn't have done it without any of you. So the Scrappers team, thank you for the speed controller that you loaned us. To the Deadbod team, thank you for the um, bits of wiring. I can't remember what they're called. We do have them on a list of things we need to buy. Um, thank you for the loan of them from your middleweight. We couldn't have done anything without them because um, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, thank you to Ellis Ware of Team Magnetar who loaned us some connectors. Um, thank you, who else helped us? Thank you to Dave Weston who is from Team Crackers and Smash who uh, helped us to solder bits on and was telling us what we needed to go and find and all of that stuff all morning basically up until lunch. After lunch, thank you to Tim Rackers for um, basically having the right part, having the uh, um, receiver and then helping us for the next hour to get Bullfrog into the arena. Literally, we spent the hour before our fight non-stop working on the robot. We were shoving stuff inside the robot, pulling bits out, connecting them, taping them, gluing them, all of that. And um, in the end, I think we put the speed controller in a glove and then padded the rest of that area out with gloves and tape and that's how it went into the arena with the top covers on, covering up all our gloves. We managed to make it to the arena literally just as the fight, not just as the fight was about to begin, but before we were being put into the arena. So we loaded it up, put it on. Extreme Robots team stalled for us, so thank you to John Findlay and his team for doing that. This is what happened in the fight. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, we helped to kill Thor. If you watched closely in the fight, um, Deadlock managed to turn over Thor, put them sort of on their side. Um, as they're coming back down, uh, our driver of Bullfrog pushes into Thor and a badly timed axe swing um, gets them stuck in the railing. So we came second in that fight and bearing in mind that we didn't have speed controllers at the start of the day, we came very close to winning it. Um, had Deadlock had just stopped working and we'd have been able just to move a little bit more, we could have won it. Unfortunately, um, it's not the way it went. We were running with one battery that was sort of a big bodge job from, uh, I think it was the Ironheart team. Um, so thank you to them as well for loaning us a battery that then uh, Tim managed to sort of Frankenstein together with a new connector, which felt like an atrocity to robot kind, but there we are. Um, and we only have one speed controller when we're meant to have two. So um, everything was a bit warm when we opened it up again. And by a bit warm, I mean sort of very, very hot to the touch uh, when we were taking all the gloves out. So um, after that, we put a coat over the robot and went and watched some more fights. Um, but way before all that, I forgot to say that Tim had loaned us his featherweight, his new featherweight to um, have a fight with just in case we couldn't get Bullfrog ready. So here is that fight, and it's a different driver for this one um, from our team, and um, it does pretty well. sort of brings to an end the uh, the video uh, I'm gonna be uploading some of the other fights I saw uh, separately on the channel so make sure you stay looking out for them uh, as the week goes on I'll probably put one up every now and again we've got um, the new podcast first episode went up last Tuesday and uh, the next episode I'm hoping to get up this Tuesday so um, yeah look out for them and that'll probably do for this time so if you've enjoyed this video Give it a like, do subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I shall see you hopefully on Tuesday for the podcast. If not, I'll see you next week for more news back as usual. Goodbye.